first I'm going to start off by priming my skin with Honey Do Me Up. Um, it's going to make our makeup stay on all day. That way by the end of the night I can still go to the grocery store like a snake. So yeah, um, go ahead and cover your brows right after that. I'm going to be taking just some simple glue, flattening them down. You already know the drill. I'm taking the NYX Banana Setting Powder and going right over top of that. And we're just going to do this in layers until our brows are no more. Once you feel like they're all flattened down and covered, go ahead and take the NYX HD Concealer and we're going to make this blend in with our skin. That way obviously we look like we have no brows whatsoever. So if you want to know how my eyebrows were in middle school, they looked a lot like this but with little tiny lines drawn over top of them. Yes. So I'm going to be taking some third degree modeling silicone and I'm going to make some scales. Uh, so basically what I did is I just applied this to the temples of my face and obviously around my face as well later on, um, smoothing out the edges very well and then I just did some little diamond shapes. Um, yeah, you kind of just get the hang of it the more you do it. because. <laughs> You guys already know, if you follow me on Snap, that this was not my first time doing this. I did hate the first look I did, so I redid it. You know, sometimes you gotta do that. Anyways, I'm rambling. Uh, yeah, so just go ahead and do some little diamonds. Um, you know, snakes, they do vary in their scales. They do look different all over the body. So, you know, feel free to mix it up a little bit. And I also wanted to add a snake-like mouth, um, basically how when they unhinge their jaw, it exposes the skin on the side. So I wanted to do something kind of like that, um, but I cannot unhinge my jaw, unfortunately. So I just had to work with what I got. So I'm just going to be taking the NYX uh, SFX setting powder, and this is just a translucent powder and then we can go right over top with our foundation. So I'm taking some of the Invincible foundation with also a little bit of the white foundation mixer. I thought it was gonna be lighter than this, but I was apparently wrong. Uh, so I did go back in with a little bit more of the white, just cause I wanted a really good contrast in between the sides of the face and the middle of the face. So just dabby dabby dabby, and you're good to go. After I'm all done with that, I'm going to be taking the orange SFX cream color from NYX, of course, and we're going to go ahead and blend that into the sides of our faces, like I said, making that dimension and the contrast. I'm trying to find the biggest makeup sponge you possibly can for this, you guys, because it's a lot of area to cover. Um, but just go ahead and, yeah, blend that in as much as you can. And just making sure I set my under eyes, because creasing will kill my look. Okay, so taking the Warm Neutral palette from NYX, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and blend a little bit of that transition shade into our crease. Nothing too crazy here, really. I'm um, just taking a burnt orange shade, going back in with that to deepen it up. Now I'm going in with my black cream paint. It, it was so filthy because like I said, I already used it, so I mixed so many colors into it. Just ignore that. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and put that on the edges of our face. I'm just putting a little bit at a time and blending it in, that way it kind of goes in good with the orange um, and I'll pack a little bit more on in just a bit. To give the eyes a little bit more pop also, I'm going to be taking the pigment in Venetian and making our eye look like a little penny. Going in with our Epic Ink Liner, I'm just going to do a little wang um, and I'm also going to extend that a little bit in our inner corner because you obviously do want to give that really dramatic eye effect. Um, so yeah, I did actually end up taking it a little lower uh, later on in the look but for now this will do. Then to smoke it up a bit, we're going to be taking black bean um, and putting that in our waterline and everything is going to be... I didn't know what 
was gonna say there. It's gonna be smoky. So I just took the same brush that I used Venetian on and smoked it out a bit. To make a more pinky flesh tone, I added a little bit of concealer into the Vivid Petal liner. Um, so I didn't want it to be like pure, pure bubblegum pink, but I did want it to look like the skin, of course. So uh, just put a little bit of that in there. Like I said, still can't unhinge my jaw, unfortunately. Uh, but I did add a little bit of shadow to give it some dimension and depth. And I'm just going to be adding a little bit of gold leafy leafies. Uh, so just put an adhesive right there and just kind of let it do its thing. I picked a little bit off or I just kind of scraped it a little bit. That way it gave more of like a random effect instead of big chunks. And I also added some to my cupid's bow because that's where I would normally highlight. And like I said, no look I ever do is going to come equipped without any type of highlight. Like, come on. Gold flake highlight? Let's get it. So I actually used quite a bit of pigments and quite a bit of the cream colors in the scales. So the ones that I use as far as pigments go are Venetian, Go Ham, Gunmetal, and my favorite favorite which was Vegas Baby, which is the one that gave me like that really pale gold effect. Unfortunately, I ran out of it, so I didn't get to put more, which kind of sucked, but it's gorgeous. I'll definitely re-up on that. And I tried to do somewhat of like a rounded triangle sort of shape to mimic the patterns that snakes sometimes have on their skin. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to see something bomb right now, this is Vegas Baby. Like, my highlighter is freaking popping. I really need to go buy that again. Bam. Bam. And this is the... Not so finished look, but it, it did wipe off a lot, a lot of that black that we had in our scalp. So I did go up and do some touch-ups. Yeah, my hairline's looking a little nasty, but it's all good. So just adding a little bit more and I'm going to be adding in some gold leafing in the scales around the face. And then I'm just going in with a little bit more of that epic ink liner to make little snaky nostrils. I went ahead and applied my Wicked Lashes off camera. And right here I'm just going in with the lip of the day in sunlit. And going in in some of those scales just to make them pop a little bit more. Time to cover some tats. So I went in with the Gotcha Covered Concealer with a little bit of the white foundation mixer and I'm going to do my best at, yes, uh, covering these tattoos. I felt really sticky after this only because I'm not used to being covered with a full body of concealer. Um, so yeah, I just patted that in, tried to cover them the best I could. That way when we put the cream color over top, um, it won't be showing through very much. So I just set that with a little bit of the matte setting spray and we're gonna go in with the orange. Once I had that orange all blended in, I did go in with the third degree once again to do some scale detail on the shoulder blades. Um, so yeah, just did the exact same thing as what we did on the face, drew some little diamond scales. These ones I did a little bit larger only because they're on my body and not my face. Um, but I did move on to my stomach. I don't know why I'm hitting myself like that, but um, I just went ahead and added some orange to the side of my stomach as well. And then to add even more dimension, we're going to go in on our neck and add some black as well as on the corners of our skin uh, right around the edges of the body. So basically I cut a big hole in the crotch of these um, so that it would fit over my head, which is not a good idea because it actually rubbed off a lot of the paint, which was very upsetting. Um, so do not make the same mistake I did, but it was just a little bit easier to do it this way because it was only me, you know, to do it by myself. And for me to try to hold on the net over top of my body and paint at the same time would just be a little bit rough. Um, so I did try my best. Uh, this is kind of how it came out. I added a lot of gold flaking because I wanted it to look almost like appealing skin, but fabulous, of course. Um, so I just added some little lash glue and we're going to add on that gold flake. So yeah, I just fixed myself a little bit off camera, put my costume on, but this is basically it. If you enjoyed this, please go to facewords.com. You already know you can vote up to three times a day. Everything will be in my description box to let you know. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this. I did not want to let you down. You know, your support means everything to me. So yeah, if you did like this, feel free to comment, feel free to vote. 
Um, but thank you so, so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.